Hello, I'm Tommy Baldwin. Played 239 games for Chelsea and scored 92 goals. So don't forget to subscribe to SW6. Stay there. Well, I'm on the way down to Stanford Bridge. I'm on the A1 right now. And the A1M is closed. Fucking brilliant. So this is gonna put me right behind schedule. Um, it is what it is, it's England. And uh, I don't know whether it's all about the M11 now, coming down that way and then coming around at 25, I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm on my way to Stanford Bridge and uh, Sheffield United at home need three points uh, another game against the promoted side and um, well, I'm predicting a 3-1 score for Chelsea uh, no Kante, no Rudiger no Pedro uh, I think we'll probably go with the same team we'll have to wait and see but
2 0, and we definitely fucked it up. To the joke, I stopped filming at that point. Um, and you just knew the right was on the wall, and we were going to concede right at the end. Anyway, it is what it is. Okay, uh, outside Stamford Bridge then. And uh, it feels like a defeat, doesn't it? Um, because 2 0, we definitely fucked it up, that's for sure. There's a lot of positives again. I mean, we did play well in massive parts of that game. But we also done the same thing too, and that's letting stupid goals and all at the most ridiculous times too. You think 2 0 is a big enough cushion, um, but it turned out that, I mean, the third goal in games is always massive because at 3 0, the game's dead. But um, obviously 2 1, it's going on, isn't it? And it spurs the opposition on, the crowd get behind them, and a completely different feel, isn't it, to it all. And I just thought we'd done enough in the first half. I don't understand why we took Tammy off, uh, unless it was for a nigger or an injury or whatever. I don't know, maybe perhaps someone can tell me out there. But um, he was on Ettrick, and confidence is everything. He's got a good vein of form right now, and I just don't get it. Why did we bring on Richie Bash away? I thought Kovacic was good as well. Why did we take him off? Okay, Ross Bartley, but I thought he was doing okay. He was definitely um, doing his bit. And I thought we'd done enough in the first half, some good football. And I thought at 2 0, it, we were good for 2 0 in the end of that first half. I don't think we were good for losing the second half 2 0, which made it 2 2. Um, you know, because we had our chances too, good chances as well, you know. In fact, uh, Tammy could have had a hat trick for sure. But uh, all right, positives. Um, Tamore, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He showed. In fact, he completely and utterly warranted his uh, selection today. Absolutely superb. And um, once again, Mason Mount, superb. I thought that uh, Pulisic was okay. Not brilliant, but okay. Kovacic, I thought, was truly magnificent. I really did. But Janino was okay. Uh, Tammy, fantastic. I mean, his goal was superb. It will sort of strike as poachers, you know. Uh, and he was unlucky, as I say, not to have an hat trick. And uh, I just think, I think we've got to look at Asper de now. Um, and I, I think almost that Frank's hinting about that position uh, with regards to the fact that he keeps going on about Rich James returning, Rich James is returning, Rich James. And I think there's a reason for that. I think he, he, uh, his, the plan is to play him. And, um, you know, there are lots of positives, but again, we can't defend for Toffee. We keep making the same mistake. And um, zonal marking, it's not about zonal marking, Frank. We've got, to, we've got to sort that one out. Defensively, we've got to sort out a lot, a real lot, you know, but um, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, um, so I'm going to walk back to Fulham Broadway now. Uh, and, uh, down the bridge, it's 2 2. We move on to the next game, the fucking moment. I'll show you this is seen right now. Just a real disappointment in here, you know. Nothing fucking worse than the opposition fans coming out. Thousands of them taking a piss. Just taking a piss, basically. 2 0 and you fucked it up. They're not wrong. That's the thing, you know. And uh, a few of them were fucking arseholes to the you know what I mean? Like, just, just wanted to get in your face and that, and pretty much got what they wanted, really, because um, there was a few Chelsea fans reacting. Uh, but there were some decent ones we got chatting to. And uh, they can see what happened there, but well, was, that, was it? Can you actually look at that game and turn around and say that 2 uh, 2 was a fair result? The motor race. I think the inexperience, um, and, that, and that's what you get with youth, you see. You get no fear, but you also get inexperience. And um, and also from a managerial perspective too, because I think had we been tuning up under Jose, we would have just shut down and uh, see the game out. But, uh, yeah, so I don't want to be too critical. It's, uh, as I say, it's, um, it's a point. Two draws now at home. Frank's still in search of his first win at Stamford Bridge. But 
I've got to tell you, this is what it's going to be this season, and we've got to respect it. We have to put things into perspective. Uh, we haven't got no Reese James, Caravan Samadoy, Pedro, um, uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek, and uh, and Galo Kante, and Antonio Rudiger. I mean, fuck me, that's six players in itself. First team players I might So, uh, you know, you have to put that in perspective because that day been playing. Would it be 2 2? I very much doubt it. But there you go. Here's what it is, and um, you send it up a all square here at the bridge. As I say, at half time, you're fully expecting a win and a comfortable win. I opted it 3 1, but uh, in the end, it finished 2 2. And uh, it is what it is, and as I say, we move on to the next game. And Molyneux and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wanderers. See you later, guys. Keep your chin up. Here's what it is, as I say, this is what it's going to be like this year. Just keep the faith.